my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Hi, just a quick one. So if you want to support this channel, please click over here, the PayPal. You will be redirected to this page. Click on send. All right, so let's move on into the tutorial. All right, guys, so let's step into Photoshop. Control N. And then the width, let's set the width 2,500 pixels. And then the height, let's set 2,200 pixels. I also set the resolution to 72 and then pixels per inch and then RGB color 8 bit. Now, if you want to print it, it's a whole different ball game. You just have to set this to the inches that you want it and then set the appropriate sizes over there. Then set here to 300 or perhaps 100 or 200 and then change the color to CYMK color. All right, so now this I'm going to call it. So um, this is how I'm going to set my and I'll click on create. Awesome. Now we have something like this. I'm going to start with my rulers as, as well. Now that we are done with the rulers, let's start with our image. So we go here and we'll probably pick this particular image, drag it into Photoshop and leave it. And then you just drag it somewhere here. Then you pick the other one, this one as well, drag it in there and just leave it. Resize it. Now with this one, give it a mask. Click on your brush tool and then click here, select a soft round brush, 100 here, the flow, set the flow to 100 and then make sure this side is black. Okay, also click on your caps log and make sure it is there for you to see the tip of the brush and then let's delete this side just to blend it in nicely guys. Alright, so something like this. It's cool. Let's put it in a folder. Let's call it food. Now open it again and then let's see. Let's duplicate this again. And let's drag it down here. Delete the layer mask. Then set the opacity to 42. Now give it a new mask. Click on your brush and then clean it. Now here we can see that this side looks quite um, too sharp. So let's give it a brush and then select white over here and then give it a new layer and then let's just paste it there. This is quite good. Let's go and pick our, let's pick this one and drag it in there. We are just assuming this is our logo so just resize it and then pick your logo whatever your logo is i'm sure you are familiar with it so i'm just picking this as my logo you pick the logo that you want you drag it somewhere here now you can see that the logo is also on the food and so you can't see the details well so we need to separate the logo from the food double click here and then go to outer glow okay outer glow let's set here to screen set your opacity to 76 so that it will be a little bit visible for us set the noise to zero the color change it to white if it's not white already set here to softer but then the spread let's make the spread 27 to boost it out a little bit the size let's make the size a lot about 180 so you can see it's now standing out and that is what we want let the contour be like this the range 50 percent the jitter set it to zero and click on ok so you can see that now it is you can check the difference over here this is how we want it to be now let's click here and then pick the name of the restaurant let's just say the name of the rest restaurant is puka <laughs> let's go here and pick our color Let's use 1B0606. Okay, now, um, there was, I think, Victor asked me a certain question in the comments. He says that, how do I choose my color code, the hex codes? Sometimes, when I, ju I just click here, 
and then I just pick in there so you see I just pick in there so my color most of the time my colors are picked from the image that is the most easiest way to pick your colors that blend always pick your colors in the image you would always get it 100% if you pick it in the image almost 100% alright so I'm going to use this particular color I'm going to use 1B0606 drag it here a little bit let me work on the size I want the size to be 127 and also I want to change it from railway to impact I, I like to use impact and then let's position it very well all right so I think this is good let's text here as well and then let's pick the rest of the details now with this one let's set it to Franklin Gothic Demi and then let's set the size to 29 also go to the leading and set the leading to around 25 point 52 let's zoom in to see to, to have a closer look at everything all right so it seems to be in capital uh, small letters let's click on this one to make it capital letters and then this is quite good this is quite good so let's put it in a folder and let's call it logo let me keep this one caps as well all right so we're done with our logo let's start with the rest of the details click here and pick continental just continental and paste it there we are going to use prime time prime time so i'm going to leave it in the description for you as well prime time and then i'll set it to regular here but the font i'm going to change it to one three four and also click over here to make all caps just in case it's not and then the track can set it to zero all right so let's change the color if that's not the color let's use one b zero six zero six that's the color we are using that's actually the primary color we are using the same color as this one as well all right so let's click on it and let's center it kindly make sure it's centered now that we know it's centered right pick your rulers and then just place them here then click here and then pick and look out dish and paste it there now for the local dish we are going to use a different font you're going to use proxima nova and then we're going to set it to regular let's set the font to 98 and then let's set the tracking to 80 okay also click here to make all of them caps then drag it somewhere here now the reason why this text is going to look cool is because of the way i did it you see one is bold very bold the other one is very light and so it makes it cool if both of them were bold and solid like this it will not look cool okay so try that a lot in your designs try that a lot so there's it let me center it but this time i'm going to use you see just to make just to make it different from the other one i'm just adding more differences to it let me set this and let me come and pick this color drag it down and then change it to color white you see i'm trying as much as possible to make the next text different from the other text so i added rectangle to it and i placed the text on it and even the text i changed the color as well and so these are little tricks that makes your text look awesome man makes it look so awesome so something like this is great it's great it's great it's great all right so let's go and then type over here and pick the rest of the details 
let's pick from grill to executive launch and let's paste it here now you know you know as usual you're going to pick this text that's our our theme color and then let's set the tracking to zero and also we are going to use let's use railway okay set here to bold so that somebody who is coming from very far can see it now this is a poster or a banner so people would look at it from a very long distance let's set here to 73 and then the color we've already changed the color to this okay but the tracking sorry the leading let's set the leading to 100 point five nine okay so it's really it's really spaced you can't miss it when you are coming from a distance you can really see everything clearly you can see everything clearly also make it capital letters if it's not and let's see all right so this is quite great it's quite nice let's type here and then let's bring in the kind of services that you offer okay so they they offer dine in so let's change a few details as well we are going to use railway we are going to use extra boat where are you <laughs> the extra boat is here we are going to set it to 45 we don't want the sizes to be the same and then the color we just want a different variation from this color and so let's use 3c2 3c 2b 2b all right same type of color but we just created a tint of it a lighter version of it let's zoom in okay and then next let's click here let's choose the ellipse to hold shift and then create a very small circle okay now the, even the circle let's come and pick the exact color we created okay and then let's move it to the middle of the text and then bring it somewhere here awesome also let's click over here and go here you want to select this one so that we don't really struggle much when we are duplicating it okay so let's put this in the folder and let's call it dine in duplicate it and push it somewhere here pick the other detail take take away open it and over here put take away here as well take away here as well duplicate it hold shift and then drag it if i let's bring this to all right so that's it let's pick delivery they do delivery as well that's awesome in the 21st century almost every business needs to do delivery <laughs> i don't know why all right so now we have it like this we have it like this but then click here one click here two click here three transform it and then place them in the middle of the line over here so you can see it's aligned nicely let's zoom out this is great in fact we can even send it up a little bit then let's click somewhere here and then continue with the rest of the detail open this time we are going to use railway and still extra bold but then the font we are going to boost it up a little bit to 73 and then the color we are going to go back to our original theme color this one pick that color it's quite deeper then let's set it somewhere here we'll work on it later on so duplicate it and then send it somewhere here pick the rest of the detail and paste it there 
for the time we are going to use helvetica let's search for it and then we are going to make sure here is bold you're going to set it to 73 here and then click on this one as well then click on this too to make it quite bolder now pick your rectangular tool and then just draw something here drag it down let's change the color to 9c0404 and then let's position it okay let's change the font to color white but then we are not yet done double click it and select this particular phone and then choose this particular color fc 992e we want to make it quite yellow and then also we are going to make it regular all right so now we are quite done with it let's drag it a little closer to the open and then click on all of them let's center it very important let's center it now let's put it in a folder and let's see it's um time stroke location now open it and then let's add one more detail this one let's click here and paste it in there then let's change the color to our team color let's also make it in the middle here and then let's go back to the character now we are going to use real way we're also going to use extra bold we're going to set the font size to 50 and then the leading let's set the leading to 60.8 all right make sure this is also the board is also on tick and then let's drag it here ctrl h to bring our lines and then let's make sure it's also centered if i let's drag it up a little bit now let's try and make sure the distance between here and the distance between here are the same so let's zoom out to see the full details one to here let's drag it up just slightly and then the ohima let's zoom in ohima street so I think the distance between them appears to be quite the same to the eyes. Uh, so let's leave it like that. We can always come back and work on it. Um, and so now let's click on the number. I don't like the way the number looks like. So the number we are going to use Helvetica. And then we are going to set it to bold over here. And that's all we are going to do to it. Now come down here and let's type our numbers. Telephone number paste it there and for the telephone number we are going to use franklin gothic demi and also we are going to make it regular here the size let's boost the size to 81 so that anybody coming from a distance could see it number is very important especially when it happens to be a poster let's send it up Now we are going to let's see let's make it bold this is not really important all right so let's click here and then from here to let's see here <laughs> from here to here let's make it like that drag it behind the number and then let's make it black 
All right, now the number, let's make the number color white. Let's close this panel. Let's make sure the number is in the middle of it or appears to be in the middle of it. Now this is awesome. Okay, now for this, now this particular bar or rectangle, push it here a little bit. One, two, three, four, four is good drag it down double click it and let's give this particular color 6 d 0303 okay so click on this this and this and then let's center it again click down here and let's bring our website I think we are done right <laughs> we are done okay we are going to use helvetica for this particular one helvetica set it to regular set the phone to font size to 41 website doesn't really matter and then let's set it to bold over here the color let's use the theme color website isn't really important well, at least it's not because the, the telephone number and the name and the kind of service you offer really is important. But the website, website is not really important, too much important. Now let's zoom out and then let's see how it appears to be. Okay, let's put everything here in the folder and let's call it tell stroke web site also from the continental to here let's call it continental so i would like to with the exception of the logo with the exception of the logo i like to move from here to the website I like to move it up a little bit just up a little bit awesome also i see a little inconsistencies here now take note there the space we left between here you see this is a bar the space we left between this and the bar should be the exact space we are leaving between this and the bar over here as well oh it should appear to be the same so let's click on the tell in the website and then bring it down a little bit okay so so bar here details in the middle bar here uh I, I believe you understand what i'm trying to do over here as well okay so the distance between here the distance between here is also quite the same and so ladies and gentlemen this is how you create something like this now when you think you want to really add a direction to it just click here and then go to the custom shapes and then just look for the arrow sign over here and pick the one that suits what you want to do and use it that shouldn't be uh, quite much to you so you just pick the arrow especially this or you could pick any of them and then use them over here just place it over here and then use it uh, so i love you guys please make sure you hit the bell icon and also subscribe to this channel as well if you like the kind of content that i create also don't forget if you want to support me there was a paypal me account that i've set up at my channel click on it and then any amount is also quite welcomed i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace